You are dispatched to the university baseball field for an injured player. All right, so PPE, and is my scene safe? Yes. Okay. And how did the player get injured? He was struck to the left side by a 90 mile an hour fastball while in the batter's box. Okay. Um, so then it's mechanism of injury, one patient. I would not do C-spine. I would go ahead and call ALS. Um, my general impression of the patient is that he got struck in the chest with a ball. Um, and he's still just sitting. Yep. Okay. He's got some discomfort. Some discomfort. Okay. Um, what is his um, chief complaint? Left side chest pain with shortness of breath. Okay. And then, um, what, so, I would say that he is, he's answering my questions. Okay. Yep. All right, so then he is alert. His level of consciousness. Um, he's only using two to three word answers. Okay. And that is probably from the shortness of breath from getting hit with the ball and the chest pain. So then assessing his airway, um, it's patent because he is speaking to me. Um, breathing, is, it, is there adequate chest rise and fall? There is dim er, diminished on the left side. Okay. And then um, what about SpO2? 95. Okay. And then any apparent compromising injuries that I need to be concerned of? Not that it says. Okay. So for circulation, what is his pulse? 122. Okay. And his skin? Cool, pale, and diaphoretic. Okay. If I move his shirt, is there any major bleeding? No. Okay. And then, um, what about if I listen to his breath sounds? They are clear, but slightly diminished on the left. Okay. Um, I would do rapid transport with this patient. Um, and then do secondary in the ambulance. Um, I would also do shock management, give him a blanket and keep him warm. Um, so then moving on to vitals. Um, what is his, um, what's his, um, SPO2? 95. 95. Okay. Um, I would go ahead and give him, I would go ahead and give him some oxygen. Um, having the chest pain and the shortness of breath just help him breathe. I would probably go ahead and set it somewhere around, um, I would do it non-rebreather probably around like 10 or so. Um, so then his vitals, what's his, what's his lung sounds? Did Clear, slightly diminished on the left. Okay. And then blood pressure? Um, Ninety-five over sixty. Okay. And then pupils? Curl. Um, respiration rate? 28. Okay. Um, doing sample, 
What's so signs and symptoms is difficulty breathing. Does he have any allergies? No. Any medications? So allergy allergies are penicillin. Okay. Pertinent medical history. No medication. Pertinent medical history. None. Okay. Last oral intake. Um, dinner about two hours ago. And events leading up to where was he was playing ball or he was sitting in the batting? Yes. Yeah, yeah, batting. Okay, batting. Um, so then we're going to go on to our secondary assessment. If I palpate the head, do I have any tenderness? No. Okay, any CSF in the ears, nose, neck? Mouth, eyes, anything that I need to be concerned of, any blood or other fluids? No. Okay. And then, um, if I go down to the neck and check his C-spine? No, nothing noted. Okay. How about, um, is there any JVD? There is slight JVD. And what about his trachea? No shift. Okay. Um, chest, aside from that left side, is there any um, anything I should be worried about? Any tenderness, anything like that? Any OP, QRST um, stuff? There's possible rib fractures on the left side, bruising and tenderness over the left ribs. Okay, and then um, if I palpate, is there crepitus? Does it say? It does not. Okay, and then if I auscultate again, do I find anything? Still just the diminished sound. Okay, so then um, going down to abdomen and pelvis, what... Uh, is that soft and tender or soft? You know what I mean? Abdomen is soft and non tender okay. in all four quadrants. Okay. And then genitalia? No injury. And then pelvis? Stable. Okay. Um, lower extremities, do I have any injuries? Nothing's noted. PMS? I'm guessing it's there. Okay. And then how about upper? Do I have PMS? No injury. No injury? I'm guessing there's PMS. Okay. So then moving on to um, my patient's back. Um, is there anything with the posterior buttocks? Anything like that? No injuries noted. Okay. Um... So then, um, I would manage secondary wounds. Are there any of those present? None noted. Okay. So then I would just be concerned that it's a pneumothorax, um, and I would want to try to meet ALS en route. I would be reassessing every five minutes. And I think that is... I think that's it.